Das Institute was founded in 2007 by artists Kirsten Bratch and Adela Roda. The exhibition at the Serpentine is a combination of their work as uh, the collaborative effort Das Institute and uh, of their individual practices. So the exhibition as a whole is a combination of two key aspects of Das Institute's work. One is this collaborative uh, process that they undertake with each other, with additional collaborators, and also with craftsmen. The second aspect of the exhibition that's really key is the presence of the body and the use of light to illuminate both the body and various artworks. So each group of works is often presented in combination with another, and one group will illuminate the other, so they have a physical interaction that happens in front of us. The presence of the artist's bodies is visible throughout the show and their interest in the body and how we read and recognise bodies and faces is also evident all the way through the exhibition. Even where works could be abstract, they are often composed in such a way that we are able to read faces into them. The idea of a specific visual language that has uh, a more of a hieroglyphic sensibility than a, a language-based sensibility in the way that we understand language today is evident all the way through uh, a sort of alphabet of forms that Adela Roda has produced uh, and which are installed in various different ways through the exhibition. The very first work that you see when you enter the gallery is a pair of enormous neon breasts. They're formed out of C shapes and of two concentric circles. There is also a series of uh, three slide projections in one of the central powder rooms which tell the life cycle of a human form from conception to birth to old age. And each of the forms in that sequence is made up of these three elemental shapes. Another key work at the heart of the exhibition is a pair of projections. These are slide projections made using medium format slides and the two things together form a work called Dark Codex. The marblings within the Dark Codex are part of a larger series within Kirsten Bratch's work where she has used a very old-fashioned technique of paper marbling. This process creates these incredible images that are both incredibly complex and layered and very colourful. And they're immediately reminiscent of anything from a geological strata to agate crystals to even the cells within a microscopic view of a human tissue. So there's all sorts of associations that they set up immediately. Some of those drawings are also uh, reminiscent of other works in our exhibition, such as a set of solar body prints that Adela has produced by using sun-sensitive dye on fabric and using her own body to position uh, specific forms that are left on the fabric after the surface has been exposed to the sun. Each of the glass surfaces in the gallery, the existing skylights and even the glass door at the front of the building, have been covered with coloured gels. So everything that's coming in, in terms of the light levels, is slightly altered and each space is different. The one element of the exhibition that might not be immediately obvious are those things such as the temporary walls. These walls have been left with their substructure visible at the edges and each set of walls has been named uh, so it becomes an object in its own right. There's also a collaboration which was something that happened over the course of developing the exhibition, a film that's been contributed by renowned German filmmaker and historian Alexander Kluger. He offered the possibility of creating a work in response to the work of Das Institute. There's also in the East Gallery an installation of what appears to be objects, but which are in fact fragments of a double portrait that was made of Kirsten and of Adela by the painter Alison Katz. It's a sort of history of Das Institute because it has crumbled to the point that the two bodies are now completely interchangeable and intermingleable. They've also worked with an artist called Sergei Cherepnin who uses a lot of sound uh, and the materiality of sound to fill spaces and play with surfaces. He has reconfigured a work that he produced in 2015 to fit the specific acoustics of our space. Throughout the course of a 30 minute loop, he has used specific lighting and placement of speakers to animate Kirsten Bratch's Mylar paintings. Over the course of the composition, the intensity increases and the more light and movement that happens in the animation, 
the more we perceive the surfaces to be changing. They almost become alive, they become creature-like. There will also be an additional collaboration that appears later on in the exhibition. Uh, artist Arakawa will bring a group of traditional hula dancers to the exhibition and they will be activating the space both here within the Das Institute show but also making a link to the Hilma Afklint show at the Serpentine Gallery across the bridge. <laughs>